Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take one more example. The question says here to find the AP whose third term is 16 and seventh term exceeds fifth term by 12. That is, A3 is equal to 16 and seventh term exceeds fifth term by 12. Two things are given to us. A3 is equal to 16 and A7 minus A5 is equal to 12. Now we can just use the formula for this. A3 is nothing but A plus 2D that is 16 equation number 1 and A7 is nothing but A plus 6D minus A5 that is A plus 4D is equal to 12. A cancel or I get 2d is equal to 12 or I get d is equal to 6. I got the value of d. Now I got the value of d, I can use in this first equation to get the value of a. a plus 2 into 2 is 6 is equal to 16 or a is equal to 4. I have the value of a, I have the value of d that is a is 4 and d is 6. I have everything. Now I have to find the ap. ap is nothing but a 4, a plus d that is 10 a plus 2d that is 16 and so on. This is my a. Very simple. I have been given two equations. Solved it to call the value of a and d. Let's take one more example. Find the 20th term from the last of this ap. Right? This is ap. Find 20th term from the last. So for such thing, the best thing is to reverse the ap. So I'll reverse it. If you reverse the ap, ap is still ap. So reverse, I'll get 353 dot 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 13a this is the AP In this AP, if you see A is equal to 253, D is equal to 8 minus 13, that is minus 5. If you see, subtract this from this minus 5 and 3 from 8 minus 5. So we have got an AP where A is equal to 253 and D is equal to minus 5. Now I have to find A20. Why? Because See, finding last term from this side or when you reverse it, finding first 20th term is same. So I am asked to find 20th term from the last or when I reverse this, then I say 20th term from the beginning is same. So I have to just find A20. A20 is nothing but A plus 20 minus 1 into D. That is A plus 19 D. So I will put the value A is equal to 253 plus 19 into minus 5. So I'll get this as nothing but 253 minus 9545 95. And this is nothing but 158. So 28th term from the last for this series is 158. Very simple. When you ask to find term from the last, the best thing is you reverse the AP. You reverse the AP, you get a different AP with a different A and different D, and then you find another term from the beginning. The question says the sum of 4th term and 8th term of AP is 24 and sum of 6th and 10th term is 444. We have to find first 3 terms. That is if you find the A and D then you can find the first 3 terms. The question says A4 plus 8 is 24 and A6 plus A10 is equal to 44. So we have two equations. Let's write this way. A4 is nothing but A plus 3D. 8 is nothing but A plus 7D. Correct? That is 24. And this equation says A6 is nothing but A plus 5D plus A10 is nothing but A plus 9D is equal to 4. Let's rewrite this equation. The equation is 2A plus 10D is equal to 27 and 2a plus 14d is equal to 40. It's 24 actually. It's 24. So if you subtract these two equations, what you get? 4d is equal to 44 minus 24, that is 20. Or d is equal to 5. So we have got the value of once we have got the value of d, we can get the value of a by putting in any equation. So I get 2a plus 10 into d that is 10 into 5 is equal to 24 or a is equal to 
ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टी बाई टू दैट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाई टू दैट इज माइनस थर्टीन सो ए इज गल टू माइनस थर्टीन एंड डी इज गल टू फाइव वी कैन वेरी वेल फाइंड द ए पी ए पी इज ए ए प्लस डी दैट इज माइनस थर्टीन प्लस फाइव ए प्लस टू डी दैट इज माइनस थर्टीन प्लस टू इंटू फाइव फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स दैट इज थर्टीन माइनस एट एंड माइनस माइनस थर्टीन माइनस एट माइनस एट दिस इज माई एंसर वेरी सिंपल वॉट आई हैव डन आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न दिस टू इक्वेशन ए फोर प्लस एट एट इज गल टू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ए सिक्स प्लस एट एट इज गल टू फोर्टी फोर गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन got this equation solved it to get the value of a and d once i have a and d i can get it very well get the first three let's take one more example subha started work in 1995 at an annual salary of 5000 rupees and she received an increment of 200 rupees each year the question is in which year her income is 7000 rupees the question says her starting salary is 5000 rupees then 5200 then 5400 Keep increasing. Now, somewhere it is seven thousand rupees. Somewhere, then seven thousand two hundred. You have to find the value of year in which it is seven thousand. This is A one. This is A two. So let's suppose this is A n, right? A n is nothing but A plus n minus one d. Same formula we have used. A n here is seven thousand rupees given. A here is five thousand rupees plus n minus one, and D is here two hundred rupees. Again, so we get n minus one is equal to seven thousand minus five thousand by two hundred. That is two thousand by two hundred. Correct, and that is nothing but ten. So n minus one is ten. N is equal to eleven. So on eleventh year, her salary is seven thousand, and that is my answer. Very simple. We have been told that this is AP because the salary is increasing by two hundred rupees each year. This is AP. So we have written this AP, and we are told that AN is equal to seven thousand rupees, and in any given year her salary was seven thousand rupees. We have to find the year. We use the formula AN is equal to A plus N minus one D. Seven thousand is equal to A is five thousand plus N minus one D is two hundred because every year it increases by two hundred. We got n is equal to eleven. Let's take one more example. Ram Kali saved five rupees in first week of the year and then increased her weekly savings by one point seven five. If in the nth week her weekly saving becomes twenty point seven five, find the value of n. Very similar to the last question we have here. In the first week, she has saved five rupees. Second week, five plus one point seven five. Third week, five plus two into one point seven five, and so on. Right, and in some week twenty point seven five. This is a clear indication of AP, where A is equal to five, and D is equal to one point seven five. Correct. Also, AN is given twenty point seven five. We have to find the value of N actually. Simple. Use your formula. AN is equal to A plus N minus one D. Correct. Or twenty point seven five is equal to five plus N minus one into One point seven five, correct? Or n minus one is equal to twenty point seven five minus five by one point seven five. That comes out to be fifteen point seven five by one point seven five. That is nine. So n is equal to nine plus one. That is ten. So that is tenth week. Her weekly saving was twenty point seven. Where is? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.